Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everyone. Let me see. Marco Antonio, good evening. Marco Antonio, good evening. Okay, let's see, Crisia Magdalena, good evening. Hello, Crisia. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I, I am fine. Okay, good. How was your day? Um, it was quiet, teacher. Oh. And really, it's just a daily routine. Nothing okay. extraordinary. All right. It was just a normal it one. Fine because, mm -hmm. uh, it was fine because it didn't rain when I back to home. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, that's good. I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. Nancy Carolina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Nancy? I'm very fine. Okay, excellent. How was your day? It um, um heavy. I'm working in a supermarket. Oh, oh okay. So it must be tied in, right? Yeah. Okay. And how about the platform, Nancy? What section are you in? I am um, Cajera. Okay, uh, Cashier? Cashier. Cashier, okay. Cashier in Walmart. All right, interesting. And how about the platform, Nancy? ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Es, ahorita voy por la lección 2.3. Okay. Avancé en este que viene de trabajar, avancé al 2.3. Okay, that's good. Keep going. Please remember that today you must be in section three. Okay. Yeah. So keep, continue working. That's good, Nancy. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi, good evening. How are you? I'm okay. All right, great. How was your day? Um, I had a lot of work. Okay, it was full of work. All right, and how about the platform, Jennifer? What section are you in? I in section four. You're in section four, okay. Yeah. All right, sounds great. Continue working. You're doing pretty well. Thank you. Julia Maritza, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Julia? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Great. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, how was your day? Very good, teacher. I go to my work. <clears throat> At work today. What do you do? Uh, I the, attend the customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You work in customer service. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. And the platform, Julia, what section are you in? Today I'm working in section two uh, for the meditar. I finished meditar. Okay. I, I comencé a section four. You started section four, okay. I started section four, okay. All right, that's great. 
Oscar Ortega, good evening. Hello, Oscar. Hello, hello. How, how are you? How's everything? Excellent. Okay, good. How was your day? Uh, good. It feels good? All right, no, and good. the platform, Oscar, what section are you in? Uh, section four. You're working in section four, okay. Sounds great. Okay. Manuel Aristides, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you, Manuel? Fine. Okay, excellent. How was your day? Um, I had a normal day. It was just a normal? Lot, a lot of, of work, uh, but, uh, but happy for, uh, because tomorrow I have off day. Oh, you got a day off. That's very yeah, nice. Yeah. Do you have any plans for your day off? I sleep. <laughs> yes, sleeping and resting. Great. Yeah. Okay, sounds nice. Yeah. All right, so good evening, everybody, and welcome to our class number eight. And let me start by taking attendance as we usually do. Um, okay, let me get the list over here and. Here we go. Good evening, Tisha. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear you. And, all right, so today is Thursday the 27th. Let me see, Ingrid Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Here. Okay, Joanna Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Joanna. Julia Maritza. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Okay. Carla Iris Martinez. Carla Iris Martinez. Carla Vanessa González. Present. Thank you. Katia Lisbeth. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Okay. Grecia Magdalena. Oh, is that Katia Lisbeth Arriola? Present. Okay, thank you. And how about Grecia Magdalena Muñoz? Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Alberto Enriquez. Present, teacher. Okay, Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present. Good. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. All right, Luz Marina Hernández. Luz Marina Hernández. Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present teacher. Ok, Mayra. Manuel Aristides. Present teacher. Ok. Marco Antonio Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen Jorge. Present teacher. Good. María José Ábrego. Present teacher. Thank you. María José Martínez. 
Present. Ok. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present teacher Marlene. Present. Oh, Marlene, you're here. And Marta Lilian too. Thanks. Present. Yes. Okay. Marvin Joseph. Present teacher. Good. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Arely. Present. Okay. Melvin Antonio. Present. Okay, Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Mengiva. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, and Jose Atilio. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right, now that we have taken attendance, we can start with today's practice and topics. So let's see what we got. We are working, well, yesterday we studied a little bit about have and feel, right? Remember that we use have to express and to express different health problems, like I have a headache, I have an earache, I have a backache, I have the flu, I have a fever, and things like those. We, uh, we use feel to express feelings, right? I feel sick, I feel tired, I feel fantastic, I feel very well, I don't feel well, I feel better, and so on, right? Today we are talking about medication, what are some common names of medication in English? Well, by the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medication for health problems. So let's take a look at this. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications Antacid Muscle cream Aspirin Cough syrup Cough drops Cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take. Okay, so let's practice them. Please everybody repeat, antacid. 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 Aspirin. 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 Muscle cream. Muscle, Muscle cream. cream. Muscle cream. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cold pills. Cold pills. Eye drops. I try to drop. One more time. Antacid. Antacid. Aspirin. Aspirin. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cold pills. Oh, 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 oh. Eye drops. Eye oh, drops. Eye drops. Okay, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? El, pri el primer medicamento, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Antacid. Antacid. 
Okay. Any other doubts? Okay, if we have no more doubts, we can continue. We are also going to learn about imperatives in today's class. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's watch the video about it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation. Okay, um, can you please turn off your microphones, everybody? There's much noise. Um, would you please turn off your microphones? Okay, let me do it. All right, uh, so now let's practice the conversation. Uh, I need a couple of volunteers. Do I have anybody who wants to read the conversation? Nancy Carolina and Luis Carlos Guevara. Okay, go ahead. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's grow exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't try coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, thank you for reading. Let me see who's next. I think I got some more volunteers. Luis Enriquez and... Mm, yeah. Mayra Villorio, okay? Go yes. ahead. Hello, Hello Miss. Miss. Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> no, sea usted mejor, John. Dr. Okay. John. <laughs> Hello, Miss West. How are you today? No, so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink 
coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Also? Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading. And now everybody repeat, please. What's wrong? What's, What's wrong? wrong? What's wrong? What What's wrong, wrong exactly? What's, What's wrong, wrong exactly? exactly? Exhausted. 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 I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Tired. 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 Pills. 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 Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Uh, well, I think that's pretty much it. Any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Okay, let's continue. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement to hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the... Okay, so that is what we have for a giving instructions about how to treat uh, an illness, right? Whenever we are sick, we get a, some advice from the doctor or from our parents, for instance, from a friend or from just anybody who knows that we are sick, right? So they would say like, rest in bed, drink lots of juice, take a pill every four hours, and some things that we don't have to do. So these are called imperatives. Whenever we talk about something that um, that we that we have to do, we use imperatives by saying do this, do that, don't do this, or don't do that, right? So that is the use of imperatives. Let me go to the presentation. So we get some more information about this. So can you see my presentation now? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. 
So it says that we use imperatives to give an order, a warning, a suggestion, an instruction, or advice. Utilizamos los imperativos para dar órdenes, eh, sugerencias, eh, sugerencias, advertencias, instrucciones, o consejos. And we use the infinitive or base form of the verb we set without to. So it's pretty easy because we use just the normal form of the verbs, right? We do not conjugate the verbs in any way. We just take the verbs go, take, do, exercise, um, what, drink, for example. And another thing is that there is no subject. We do not use I, you, he, she, or any names, or we do not mention any subjects, right? Because normally, whenever we give um, a piece of advice or a suggestion, instruction, using an imperative, we're talking directly to the person who has to do it. So there is no, uh, there is no need for saying you do this. You only say do this. You do not add a subject. You just uh, say the piece of advice. Drink some orange juice, for instance. Eat healthy. Eat healthy. That will be a piece of advice. Drink lots of water, drink lots of water. And uh, well, as you see, there is no subject. We do not say you eat healthy or they eat healthy or she eats healthy. No, right, no subject, only the verb and then the complement. Eat healthy, drink lots of water. And also we need to know that in order to make imperatives negative, we add do not or don't before the verb. So here, um, if we needed to make this one negative, we just add don't at the beginning and that will be it. Here I have some examples. Don't eat much candy. Don't eat much candy, we say. So you see, once again, we use the verb in the base form. We do not conjugate it in any way. We do not change it. We do not add ing, yes, or anything. Just take the verb in the infinitive and use it with don't if you want to make a negative imperative. Or you could also say don't touch, don't touch. Then another thing to keep in mind is that to make the imperative more polite, we can add please. As when we say, be quiet, please, we, be quiet, please, please copy this. So that makes it sound a uh, more polite, right? It makes it sound kinder. So that's the idea behind imperatives. No subject, start, they start with a verb. And if you want to make them negative, you add don't. Any questions about this? No, teacher, easy. It's teacher, easy, right? Hi. Uh, la palabra después al pre, en la segundo término, donde dice use the infinity or passive for on the verb. Y esa otra palabra mm -hmm. que sigue, without. ¿Qué without significa? Without sin. Fin. Eh, sin. Uh -huh. It okay. indicates Gracias. that we use the infinitive without the two. So here, the, el infinitivo normalmente lo manejamos en inglés como to eat, to drink, to touch, pero en este caso lo usamos sin el to. Eso es lo que indica. Ah, está bien, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, ¿cuál Dígame. es la diferencia entre lots de mucho y el much, much, much candy? Um, there is no difference. It's just the, the same. They are synonyms. A lot of, lots of, much. They are synonyms. Okay. Any other doubts? No more doubts? Okay, then we are going to practice um, by uh, having this short conversation. So here you start like, how are you? Or how do you feel? You choose one of the questions. And then you would say, for example, 
I feel terrible. What's the matter or what's wrong? I have a headache. Well, you can take and then you add some piece of advice. So you would say like, take a pill, take an aspirin, for instance, or um, sleep for a while, take a nap. I mean, you provide some piece of advice. Um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you practice the conversation with your partners and try to use the, the imperatives, right? The imperatives in the affirmative or negative form. Do this, don't do this, and so on, right? Take some water. Um, what else? Do exercise. Um, what? Um, you could say drink some coffee or don't drink coffee. I mean, just think about the different options you could provide for um, for treating a, a kind of symptom or health problem. So let me send you to the breakout rooms. I'm sending the, the screenshot of the conversation to the WhatsApp group. So you have it. Um, all right, we'll have groups of three or four participants. There we go. Now I have opened them. Okay. Uh, how are you, Manuel? Uh, fine. Fine. Uh, tiene que ser con lo de los. Ah, no. Ajá. Pero es que, uh, me tiene que decir, how are you? How do you feel? Ah, bueno, pero lo mismo. Uh, sí, sí, sí. I feel, I feel sad. I feel sad. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the matter? Um, I have a cough. ¿Qué puedo tomar? Okay. What's wrong? Uh, take a aspirin. <laughs> Aspirin, no, porque tiene, tiene tos. Ah, sí, um, Sería. Uh, cough syrup. Cough syrup, syrup, yes. yes. Cough syrup. syrup. Well, thank you, doctor. <laughs> uh, how, are you, how are you, Melissa? How do you feel? I feel safe. What's the matter? I have, I have had, 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 Well, you take uh, aspirin. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Nancy, how are you? How are you? I feel sick. Uh, what's wrong? I have a um, back cage. Back cage. Um, uh, take um, back cage. Don't, uh, don't exercise this week, please. 
Ashley. <laughs> okay. ¿Alguien eh. más? Pueden preguntarle a Katia. Katia, Katie. how do you feel? Katia, how do you feel? I feel tired. What's the matter? Katia. I have a headache. Okay. Uh, take a aspirin. Three days. <laughs> bueno, eh, don't drink more coffee at night, please. <laughs> don't make exercise. Don't do exercise. <laughs> uh, uh, Melissa. Oh. Uh, Maria Jose, how are you? How do you feel? I, I feel fantastic. Uh, I, I feel. <laughs> What's the matter? What's wrong? Maria Jose? Hello, Maria Jose. Nos perdió María José. Se fue. Se me, se me fue. Sí, no, 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 se me trabó el teléfono. Oh, no. Sorry. Ah, María José, what's the matter? Uh, what's wrong? I have. ¿Cómo decirle? I have y tiene que agregarle uno de los de cualquiera, have o bad que bad que es correcto. Ajá, ajá, es, que, es que me cuesta pronunciar, Stomach me cuesta K. pronunciar eso. Ajá. I, okay. have, have, I have I have eyes. I have eyes. I have a have uh, oh, oh. es como me duele la cabeza, creo. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sí, I have, I have, have, tengo... have, I have. Dolor de ojo. No, tengo ella. dolor, tengo dolor. Sí. Entonces sería. I have no, sore, sore, sore eyes. eyes. Y entonces, whenever, whenever I have sore mobs left. I have sore mobs left. Tengo dolor muscular. <laughs> Muscle. Body. Eh, body Marco. No. Marco. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What's the matter? I have an errors. Milagro. What the matter? I have the flu. Uh, Oscar, what the matter? What the matter? I I have a fever. Marco, how are you? I feel fine. Thank you. Eh, María José, what, what is wrong? Ay, quiero ver cómo hacerlo. Um... No, una, algo que creo que estamos equivocando es que hay que hacer... Hay que hacer como, es una conversación, pero corrida, no es que vamos a estar haciendo como, póngase, ajá, alguien tiene ajá. que decir, yo, yo sea, pregunto habemos, para decir. Habemos cuatro, vea, dos primero y, y, y después otros dos. Vale, si, si quiere, vale, yo le voy a preguntar, yo voy a hacer el A y usted va a hacer el B o viceversa, no sé qué quiere hacer usted. Ok, está bien. Ah. 
Ok, el, eh, María, María Joseba, algo así. Ya yeah, sé. Sí. Oh, ok, eh, María how, uh, how do you feel? I feel happy. I feel happy. Eh, what is, uh, pero siento, no, es que siento, no, aquí creo que eh, cuando yo le pregunto, how do you feel, tiene que, uh, bueno, que sería para que, que siguiera, siguiera el correlativo, pienso yo que tendría que decir que tiene algo, I feel sick o. I feel terrible. O o estado, estado de ánimo o, o, o no, pero dolores. negativo de, estado de ánimo negativo um, ok I feel angry angry enojado si es que I feel pero no sería eh, no, un entonces estado sería, I feel, maybe you can keep um, it as I feel sick I feel Or sick. I don't feel well. I feel sick. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, ahora, uh, what, what is wrong? What is wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Ajá, o sea, ¿qué está mal? ¿Qué, qué, qué, o ¿Qué siente? Bro? ¿Qué, ¿Qué siento yo? Ah, usted, tiene, I have, I, I have, usted puede decir que, que le duele la cabeza, le duele el estómago, la muela, sí, la, sí. La, la tiene de temperatura. I have, I have a havoc. I have a bad case. Uh -huh. I have so tired. Ok, y ahora, uh, repeat. Y, y yo tengo que... I have... I have so I have a sore throat. I have so. I have a sore throat. Sore throat. Mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Uh, well, take a. Uh, sería. Take a. Uh, uh, sería la, pa algo para el dolor de garganta. Sería cold throat. Uh, well, uh, take a cold throat. Cough drops. Cough throat. Uh, uh, Cough drops. 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 Oh, da, dale tú si quieres el, el ayo. Es el... Milagro, Marcos, how Marcos, do you feel? I feel the title. Mm, what's the matter? I have the sorry ace. We'll take. Sorry. We'll take. Um... El último sería, pero no me. I strong, I drop, I, I drought, algo así. Uh, uh, I well, drop. take a, a, a drop. You say I drop. Strong. I drop. I drop. We take our drop. Okay, thank you. Marco, hello, 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 Marcos and Oscar. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. No les pregunto yo. Marcos, how do you how feel? How do you feel? Uh, I feel great. I feel fine. I feel fantastic. Uh, what what is wrong? What is wrong? I have 
a sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I will take the um, aspirin. Well, take an aspirin. Okay. The Maria Jose, you see, sí. you A and I B. Okay. Um, this sería A y yo B. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's the mail. What's the matter? What's wrong? What's the matter? Más? La última. La última. Eh, y para no decir I have, sino que para utilizar, por ejemplo, eh, los imperativos. No, pero el imperativo es en la última. Estoy dando como una orden. Well take. Mm. El otro está en el primero, es sentimiento, el otro que tiene. Uh -huh. en, la, en la última que como una recomendación viene siendo verdad yes sí. it would be a recommendation or a piece of advice y consejo okay. okay teacher cómo se pronuncia esta what's the, what's the may, matter what's the matter matter what's the matter what's the matter What's the matter? What's the matter? Matter. matter. Mm -hmm. matter. So it goes matter. In what? Matter. matter. Sí. Which one? What's wrong? What's wrong? You got it. What's, What's wrong? What's wrong? wrong. Sin a, without W. Matter. Wrong. 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 Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. That's how you say it. Okay, thank you. What's the matter? Matter. What's the matter? What's the matter? Okay. What's the matter? What's wrong? Okay, you know, my compañeros, how, how are you? How are you? How are you? I feel sleeping. What's the matter? I have, I have back key. Back to, I uh, will take a muscle, muscle cream. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, in that case, you say put on muscle cream. Put on. Put on muscle cream. Put on como ponerse o aplicarse, right? Put on muscle cream. Muscle cream is similar to kofal. Yeah, that's what it is. Muscle cream. Yeah. Es que en esta unidad, teacher, hay muchas palabras bien complicadas de pronunciar. Yeah, kind of, right. Yes, you're right. Okay, so we're getting out of the breakout rooms in a couple of seconds. See you in the main class. Welcome back, everybody. Um, well, now I'm going to take the screenshots. So I need everyone to turn on the cameras, please. Everybody turn on your 
turn on your cameras so we can get the screenshots. Okay, so let me get the first one now. Okay, I'm taking the second one. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got it. So thank you. And now let's continue by practicing. So I was checking on your work in the breakout rooms and I heard you were practicing very well. And let me just tell you that um, the imperatives can go with any verb. It is not only take, right? Well, usually when we talk about medicine, we would say take, but um, you can also use some other verbs with that. For example, you could say, call the doctor, go to the dentist, that would be imperatives too, and drink some juice or drink some lemonade, for instance. And what else could we recommend? Like um, do exercise three times a week, for instance, or um, take a nap. I mean, there are many different verbs that you can use. So let's keep practicing by solving this exercise, which is on page number 82 on our books, on our students' manuals. If you have it there, please take it out and complete it. We got some different verbs and we must complete the imperatives using them. They can be Affirmative or negative? So please do that. We got some minutes. And then we'll check it together. Take a spirit. Make two aspirin. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's check. We have number one, call a dentist. Number two, don't worry too much. Number three, take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. Four, not go to not school. Go to school. Um, yeah. What do we use for the negative? Don't go. Don't go. We say don't go to school. Don't go to school. Number five. Listen. Listen, Listen to, to relaxing, relaxing music. music. 
Listen to relaxing listen music. To relax music. Listen to relaxing music. Okay, number six. See, See a, a doctor. doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. Okay, number seven. Don't, Don't drink, drink coffee. coffee. Don't, Don't drink, coffee. drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. And Don't number eight. Coffee. Don't, Don't eat, eat candy. Any candy. Any candy. Don't, Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Okay. Then in part B, we have a um, different health problems. We must write two pieces of advice for each of them. So let's try to do this. We have a tooth. I have a toothache. Um, the first piece of advice is call a dentist. What could call be another one? What could be another piece of advice? Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Good. Next one, I have a headache. Take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. And what else? Take a rest. Take a rest. Very well. Okay, next one, I have the flu. See a doctor. Mm. See a doctor. See a doctor. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Okay, good. Chicken soup. Drink some chicken soup. Good. Okay. Uh, so that is how we use the imperatives. Now we got a couple of minutes. Let me tell you about the midterm exam. Remember that if by this weekend, you should be done with section number three at least and the midterm exam. So let's just explore it pretty quickly. It starts with a listening exercise. Um, excuse me, let me mute everybody so we get to listen, okay. So it starts with a listening exercise. You have to listen to the conversations and check the correct answers. So I recommend you to listen the most three times. Um, it is not necessary that you understand everything, but the important thing is that you get the information you are asked for. En estos ejercicios no es tanto de entenderlo todo, sino más bien de poder obtener la información que se nos pide. So that is the, the goal, the objective. Then in section B, we have match the questions with the answers. Here you have some questions and then we have some different options for answering. You choose the one that is logical to, to answer, right? Then in the next part, we have We have to select WH questions to complete the conversations. Again, you have some blanks and some different, uh, some different answers that you could take. You just choose the one that goes in the space. In section D, you have to complete the conversations by selecting the correct words. We have feel, get, have, for instance, and some others. They are just short conversations, mini conversations. And letter E is read the article. You have to read the article and then you answer some questions and that will be pretty much it in the midterm exam. Please, if you have not done this, do it as soon as possible. Remember this week, we must be done with all this, section three and midterm test. So please, I insist, complete your work so you get to the, to the goal in this, in this course, right? And you can approve it. Then um, let me take the final attendance and then we can leave. Time flies. Oh my God. Oops. Okay, just give me a minute for taking attendance. Ingrid Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer Noemi. 
Okay, Jocelyn Nasiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Joana Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you. Julia Maritza. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Stephanie. Carla Iris Martinez. Carla Vanessa González. Present. Ok. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Ok. Crisia Magdalena. Present, teacher. Thank you, Crisia. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Present, teacher. Ok. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. Luz Marina Hernández. Luz Marina Hernández. Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present teacher. Ok. Manuel Aristides. Present, Present teacher. teacher. Marco Antonio. Present teacher. María del Carmen. Present teacher. María José Ábrego. Present teacher. María José Martínez. I'm your teacher. Thank you. Marlene Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok. Marta Lilian. Present. Marvin Joseph. Present teacher. Mayra Roxana. Mayra Roxana Vilorio. Thank you. Melissa Arely. Present. Ok. Melvin Antonio. Present. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nancy Carolina. Present teacher. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Y en José Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right. So that will be all for today's class. And remember to keep working on the platform. Please take advantage of the time you have on the weekend and keep going. Remember, you can get as far as possible. And uh, that will be all. Take care. Have a good, uh, good night and a really nice weekend too. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.